Okay. Give me just one sec. All right. So, uh, one thing I want to be very clear on here. I'm not looking for a handout, okay? Um, I totally, uh, I totally expect response. Uh, I totally, I have no problem with responsibility, okay? Uh, but okay, so I'm pinning this message. I'm sorry about that. So, totally different thing today. I'm going to let this run in the background with me. Okay. I don't have this scripted. This is me just talking. And I hope, I'm just really hoping right now that something happens. Uh, and again, I totally accept responsibility. This is not a cop out. Uh, this is not me putting my hand out expecting something in return. This is me just being real with my current set of circumstances. Okay. So let me start at the beginning. All right. It was about six years ago, literally six years ago, 2017. Uh, Actually, let me go beyond that. Let me go back a few years prior. So I was working at Cablevision here in Connecticut. Fantastic company, by the way. And it was a cherished job. A good bro of mine, Vic, got me in the door. And I was there for like five years. And I found out that we were being let go. Because the company that purchased us was looking to go remote. So it was Cablevision uh, Holdings, I believe. They were based out of Long Island. Uh, if anybody's familiar with HBO, you'll be familiar with Mr. Dolan Sr. And he was a guy who not only started HBO, he founded the fucking like, company we're familiar with today who's responsible for The Last of Us and all that jazz. He started Cablevision. And they were bought up by a company called LP of France. Now, if you do any Google searching, you will see that uh, it kind of got fucked. But needless to say, found out that that was happening before we were all laid off. And I ended up going to work for a &E Networks in Stanford, Connecticut, uh, which is known as Encompass Digital Media. So now why am I saying all this? There's a point to all of this. I may be a little long-winded today, but all I ask is just please listen. I really need some, I really need people to hear me here. Uh, I am trying to keep my composure as best as possible. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to start bawling my eyes out on camera, even though I'm really close to it. Anyway. I went to go work for a &E Networks under uh, the, again, I'm getting my train of thought here, under the, um, the Encompass Digital Media brand. And we were responsible for his really interesting job. We were responsible for keeping networks on air to make sure that what was being broadcast from us to satellites back down to home wouldn't be interrupted. So we had networks like Viceland, which it was a brand new network at the time, which was totally awesome. Uh, so we had Viceland, we had uh, Criminal Investigation Network, SIN and all that stuff. We had a lot going on, and like live TV was an experience there. It was really cool stuff. But the job was a very stress-ridden environment, and especially when you come from a job that you love so much, you know, you're, you're kind of scrounging, which is the big, uh, big takeaway for today. Scrounging here, but for good reason. So I was scrounging. So uh, you know, a, a good bro of mine who I've known forever got me the job at, at Encompass Digital Media. So. Uh, it was such a stressful environment that I ended up quitting because I just couldn't take it anymore. And I ended up working for a company again, Fitness Edge. Long story short, 
they screwed me over again. Why did I go back? I was scrounging. Encompass Digital Media was pretty much my only option, considering that the job I loved so much and held so dear was purchased out and liquidated and laid off. So I was at Cablevision, a job I genuinely loved. I got screwed over. I then went to a place I thought I would love, and that was just a giant stressful situation. And then I went to work for The Edge, and they ended up firing me wrongfully again. Uh, there's a lot of red tape and a lot of sales attached to it. May I have done a bad job? Nobody told me anything. There was never any type of feedback, which is another important thing. Everything is proper here. So what ended up happening was the lady just moved down from New Hampshire, my wife, Maha. Well, at the time, we were still a couple of us. She moved down from New Hampshire, and I was literally fired from the edge. Like, two days before she was supposed to move down. Texting her, and I'm like, fucking fired again. She's like, great, that's not good. So I was on unemployment, and I was trying to figure out what to do. And I was playing Destiny at the time with a good friend of mine. Um, Spencer, that was his name. He went by, uh, oh God, WJ Gaming Latte. He's like still on my friends list. And uh, we were we were like doing a strike or something. And he's like, dude, how you doing? And I'm like, I don't know, man. I was just fired and like really want to start streaming. But I don't know, I'm figuring things out. Like I felt then like I exactly do today. Very stressed and just I'm in a bad spot. Which is why I'm monologuing only. I'm not gonna stream or anything. I just have Super Mario World on in the background because it's something that makes me feel happy. So Spencer was like, dude, fuck it. Like you're really talented. Like you've shown me some of the stuff you got. You're a real chill guy. And that's one thing everybody always told me throughout the years. They're like, dude, you've got a really good personality, man. You should try you should try streaming. So yeah, Spencer's like, dude, you should you should start streaming, dude. Like, it's totally you. Like, I talk to you all the time. I, and I'm like, well, I don't know. And his exact words, which what prompted me to start all of this, fuck it, just start up. So I went for it. Against all odds, I went for it. And my line of thinking is, and this is the most important aspect of the entire dialogue I'm doing here today, which I really sincerely fucking hope that people are going to hear what I have to say for once. I feel like everything I do, everything that I have been doing design-wise, animating-wise, streaming-wise has been for nothing because nobody is noticing. You know, it, it's it's a shame. But against all odds, I'm like, fuck it, I'm going for it. And I was doing a six-day-a-week thing where I was streaming for like five hours a day and I did a lot of Destiny on that and all of that. And I was just... I was going for what I liked playing, but also things that people would enjoy watching. And one thing I noticed that people love is retro stuff. So I started doing these animations. I did a, a Ninja Turtles animation, and I did a Street Fighter Alpha 3 animation, and I did a Ninja Gaiden animation, Kenobi 3 animation, a Super Mario World animation, which actually is based off of Super Mario 3. I even started animating a, a custom featurette uh, titled Metal Gear Snake's Adventure DX. Spent an ungodly amount of time on all of this. And nobody is noticing. Generally speaking. But what I find interesting is that all of my regulars here, and all of you guys watching this, you know exactly who you are. All of my regulars are like, dude, this is really good stuff. And my line of thinking is, it's like, great. I have people who genuinely love this, and everybody who stops in randomly or not, Everybody who st sticks around randomly is like, dude, this is really some awesome stuff. Like, you've got some talent. Like, this is some of the best stuff I've ever seen. Even Lurk a lot, who's a fantastic regular of mine, goes, dude, what? I was streaming Ninja Gaiden on NES, and he's like, dude, are you sure that wasn't one of your cutscenes? Like, so what I'm trying to say here is everything I'm doing, everybody who notices, which is a very small group of people, and I'm fine with that, everybody who notices, is like, dude, the work you do is so good. It's professional. For those of you who don't know, James Milkey from uh, EGM, he's an EGM alum. I was looking at my magazines for a second, but I'm not. Uh, I have a collection of GMR and EGM magazines. 
um, James Milkey, senior editor of GMR, and a very well-regarded alum. Electronic gaming on like you, this is awesome. This is really this is professional. And he works in the gaming industry. And he was like, dude, this is impressive. If you notice, I'm trying, uh, I'm starting to run on the theme of incredible work, very good content, but for some reason, nobody is noticing. That's what really is irritating me here. Because, you know, you work so hard at this every day, and you see things that other people are doing, and how they're unique, and how they're following protocol. And you apply yourself with a ton of passion and a lot of hard work and just good and I know this sounds cheesy but just good intentions and actions speak louder than words I upload to YouTube every day I do these animations which uh, the Metal Gear one has gotten to the point where it's like I, I'm starting to like hate working on it. I have been for a while and I don't want it to come to that but you know you do this for so long and nobody notices and it's like it starts to wear on you and most people will say well you know what are you doing this for dude you're an adult, take a hint. It's like, yeah, take a hint, but what about like Astacross, who's the Destiny guy? Or Skill Up, who's the like the review guy with his friends per second podcast? Or um you know, like Grenade or Jake, who's a well known Destiny 2 trials character. You know. Well, you know, you you take a hint. It's like, dude, these guys went through the same shit I did. And they work just as hard, if not harder, and they made it. So what's the difference? And that's where I've always been struggling. But the main takeaway from all of this is keep all of that in mind. And the fact that yesterday, uh, the lady was like, babe, you know, like, you've been doing this for a while, like, uh, and that's fine, but, you know, you need to find a job. Uh, and I am totally fine with that. I have no problem adjusting my schedule. I have no problem taking responsibility at all like i'm not here to freeload okay it may appear like that but i wake up every day and i'm down here in my studio streaming content and creating stuff and posting to youtube because i have every intention of making it but everything is like no and that's where like i, I don't know what to do i don't know what to do uh so you know with her telling me to get a job like a legit like you know part-time or full-time whatever I have no problem doing that. I'm going to go out tomorrow and apply in person to all of these places. I already have a bunch of things in mind. I did my research. Like, it's not rocket science, but, like, I know what to do. But the problem I'm having is it's intruding on what I want to do with my life. Well, you're like, well, Sai, you know, it's, uh, that kind of sounds like a juxtaposition. Do you hear yourself? Like, you're, you're saying that, like, you're trying to stream and it's going nowhere, and someone's telling you to, you know, take a little more responsibility, and now you're crying foul? Absolutely not. My point is, is that you have so many things taken away from you that you loved. I know that sounds silly, but put yourself in my position. You've had a job that you loved that was taken from you, and you tried to do something in order to make up for it, and that went nowhere. And you tried again, and that was taken away from you. And you just get fed up, and you want to take things into your own hands. And you're trying your best with the thing that you've put all this time in, and nobody is noticing. And you start asking, why? Am I doing something wrong? I don't know this because I could never get enough views or feedback to let me know what I'm doing outside of my regulars. So if you're in my position, you're working very hard at something, and you're very passionate about it. But then you're seeing people do other people do the same thing and they're getting all the views and you're not. And then in some cases you look at what you're doing and it's very high quality as opposed to what other people are doing. So the point is, is things are going to change a little bit. Yes, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with taking responsibility even more so than now because it's fair. I mean, the lady puts up with me uh, even though my intentions are good, but I just need some help, man. Like, and I hate asking for help. I really do. Um, I really hate asking for help. But I really need it. And, like, you know, I will still continue to stream. Uh, schedule's going to change a bit, obviously. You know, my priorities have shifted a bit. But I started all of this for a reason. I work very hard at all this for a reason. And most people are like, oh, you work really hard. All you're doing 
is, you know, you're sitting in front of a monitor talking into a camera playing a fucking video game. Well, look at all the people who made it, number one. Look at, like, PewDiePie. And look at, um, you know, again, Astacross and Datto and, you know, Grenader Jake and, and Miley and My Name is Bike and all that. And skill up, like. They're doing the same thing I have, so why would people want to riff on me, but then give them a pass? Because they made it. They work is just as hard, if not equally hard as me. So, I have purpose, I have intent, I put in the work, but nobody notices. And when nobody notices, and then, you know, the wife is like, hey, you know, you need to, uh, you need to start, like, finding a job to get us some more income. Your little sphere that you set up for yourself to succeed is threatened. And I do not want this to go away. I do not want this to be interfered with. I do not want this to be interrupted. I've worked very hard to get to this point that I'm at. And to have something taken away from me again, I'm not going to be able to deal with it, as you could clearly see. So, I really hope... Uh, Excuse me. I really hope that this message gets out. Um, I've worked way too hard to get to this point and have it taken away again. And this isn't me, like, asking for a handout and, uh, I'm sorry. And suddenly, like, you know, things change in my favor. I am not asking for a free handout. Uh, I'm just asking for some help. Because I really need it. Um, I will still stream. I will still be passionate about what I do. I will still always love what I do. I don't want this to be taken away from me. I've worked too hard. I've worked very hard on this. And I know some really good people who came out of this. And I do not want to lose. Hold on to that. As long as I can. And I will never let that go. I just clearly need some help. I, if, I don't know, if somebody could be like, yo, dude, the content you're doing is awesome. Or even if I suck, like, that's the reason why this isn't going anywhere. If I genuinely suck, or if I'm really good, I just need the help. Because I have a lot of ideas. I've had a lot of ideas for a very long time. Considering that, you know, things have been very agonizingly slow for the longest time, you kind of put a lot of ideas on the back burner. Because you don't know what people want to see. You don't know what people want to see. So, if anybody watching this, I, I sincerely hope this gets some views. Uh, this is totally unscripted. This is just me talking my, just talking my mind. Uh, I don't normally talk my mind. You know, I, I stream. Uh, I keep relations good. But, you know, sometimes you just really need to ask for help. And I really need help. I don't want this to be for nothing, man. I don't want this to be for nothing. People love gaming. People love retro stuff. People love looking back. People love looking at what's current. People like talking about it. Like that. That's why I do what I do. I'm passionate about it. And that's why a lot of other successful people do the same thing. That's what I want to do. You know? And I, and I love what I do. Don't get me wrong. And again, I have no problem being responsible. I have no problem, you know, supporting. She supported me for five years now. You know, like, it's, I get it. I'm an adult. I have no problem with it. But I just don't want this taken away from me. I've had too many things taken away from me. And there's that saying, like, you know, life, come to a point in life where, you know, everything's given to you and then things are starting to be taken away. I just want to have to be able to control something. There are a few other things I would touch upon, but I'm going to leave it at this for today. Um, and I, I was going to stream Super Mario World, but I'm, uh, I'm not in a headspace to stream today. I'll probably end up. Uh, starting up again on Thursday. I have a bunch of personal stuff to take care of. I gotta go drop hunting. Uh, so, again, all I'm looking for is just some help. Anybody, please. I could really use it. Uh, again, this is not a cop-out. This is not me putting my hand out, like, begging for somebody to give me a dollar. This is just me just being real, man. You know, and if you go back and look at all of my stuff, I'm just myself. I'm real. I like to be as forthcoming and as honest as possible. Uh, and that's all today is. Today is just a means for me to say, hey man, I need some help, and I really hope, I really hope that uh, that some people will. That's all I got for today. That's all I got for today. I, I don't really have anything. I mean, I've only been live for 20 minutes monologuing here, so 
you know, I really do hope that this message gets out because I could really. That's all I got. So, to anybody who has watched Fire right now, the type the ticker is at twenty twenty nine. 20 minutes and 30 seconds. Thank you. Leave comments. Just something. Not like, subscribe, all that bullshit. This is like me. Please. Just check out my stuff. Stop by to my streams. I promise you, I will not disappoint. I work very hard at this. Uh, it's my passion. It's something that we could all relate to. Uh, and I, I don't want to go anywhere, man. I I've, I've, do this for nothing would just would kill me. I can't, I can't even fathom that. Size out. Thank you for listening. And again, leave some comments. Just something. I, I just, I, I would love feedback. That would mean the world to me. Please. That's all I ask. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. And to my regulars, I'll be back on Thursday. So the time of this recording is Thursday, July 11th. I need uh, a day tomorrow. I'll be back on Thursday with uh, content. Thank you.